Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shanika and in today's video I am going to be starting first part of a brand new mini series, Battle of the Curls Heated Edition style. So I am going to be testing out different hot tools and seeing which one produces the best curls in my hair. So if you're interested in this kind of video, keep watching. So this is going to be part one. Part one, I will be testing out a straightener and using this to produce the curls in my hair. I will be sure to list all the products that I use in the video today in the description box below. So check that out if you have any questions. So I have already gone ahead and prepped my hair. I shampooed my hair twice using the regular shampoo that I use. I use the Joico Hydra Splash Shampoo. Shampoo my hair twice with this and then I follow up with my regular Tresemme conditioner. I keep this in for about 30 minutes, rinse it out completely, and I will also link my hair wash day routine um, down below as well. And then for products, I only use one product, same product you'll always see me using. It is my Cantu Daily Oil Moisturizer. So after I wash the conditioner out of my hair, I apply this to my hair and then I blow dry my hair. So this style today will be on blow dried stretched hair. After I blow dried my hair, I just put it in seven braids. So this is what it looked like and I did my hair yesterday. So it's nice and clean and soft and dry. There's no more water residue, it's not damp. And I am just going to curl my hair in sections as I go along just to keep it neat and organized. I personally prefer having a side part, so I've already gone ahead and done this side part in my hair. So I am going to be working from the back of the head to the front. So I am going to leave out the back section and pull the rest of the hair to one side and out of the way. I'm just going to be using my satin scrunchies to secure my hair. I am going to turn on my straightener now. It goes up to 50 for the highest heat setting and I use it on 45. I'm going to unravel my braid. The hair is already detangled so there shouldn't be any knots but I will make sure to further detangle it just to make sure that the straightener does glide through the hair. Straightener takes about a minute or so to heat up, so I do have some time. I don't want to do super small sections, so I'm gonna start at the back and part a section that's maybe about an inch and a half thick, and then pull this rest of the hair out of the way and secure it with a clip. I have not used a straightener to curl my hair in well over two years, so this is an experiment for me as well. So I am just going to do one pass just to get rid of all this braid wave. Start at the top and then just use the chase method and run the straightener through my hair slowly. So get one smooth pass, looks great. Now I am going to curl the hair. So I'm going to curl, let's say backwards. So I rotate the, cur the hair straightener and then move the hair along as I go, just cause my hair is a little bit longer and pull it down the barrel slowly. Totally missed a chunk of hair, but that's okay. So not terrible for the first <laughs> section, first attempt. So let's keep going. I don't want a super hold, but I do want the curls to last for at least a couple days. So I will spray each section with some hairspray. This is a hold of four and it's the Pantene hairspray. Not too much. I'm not gonna pin the curl up. I am just going to leave it flat and throw it to the back and move on to the next section.
I'm thinking I probably have to use smaller sections, so I'm just going to divide that one that I just did into two, just because my hair is so long and thick. So I'm gonna repeat the same process. Pass the straightener through the hair once. Use the chase method, go slow. Comb out the hair. And I will probably alternate the curls. So curl frontwards and then curl backwards. and see how that works out for me. I probably should leave the straightener on the strand a little bit longer than I did for the back, but still go slow. You don't wanna leave it on the hair for too, too long. There we go, not bad. So I'm gonna spray it and then keep going. So I'm just gonna speed through the rest of this, but I will still make sure to show you how I move along. portion of my head 
is completed. This is what it looks like so far. Am I 100% in love with the way the curls are looking? No, but it could just be a little too early to say whether or not I like the results so far. So I am going to start on the front section of my hair. Um, I do want to make notice that um, I do find that there is some resistance depending on which direction I curl the hair, whether I curl the hair towards my face or toward, towards the back. Um, I think for the front portions, I am going to try curling, holding the straightener downwards and curling that way to see if it makes any difference. There's definitely an art to how you maneuver your wrists and your hands so that you're not feeling that tension and tug as the straightener is gliding through the hair. So I definitely give props to the professionals or to the girls who have managed to use a hair straightener to curl their hair with no problems because I am definitely having some difficulty um, just getting the hand motion down in a way that feels comfortable. So I'm going to see how well I can do it holding the straightener downwards. It definitely feels, I would say, a little bit more comfortable as I'm gliding, holding the straightener in this type of position. Sometimes the most comfortable position for your hand won't always produce the best curl. But I think I think I like this type of spirally ribbon curl for my hair. Let's try a different one and see how the curl comes out. Um, so if I curl backwards, let's see how this is going to, this, I can already tell that section is too big. And it definitely does make a difference in how much of a curl you get um, based off of the thickness of your section. So I think for me, if I was to try this again, I would use much smaller sections. So curling backwards also feels okay. Not too much resistance. Do I like the way the curl springs? Yes. Now for the next one. Okay, maybe not this one because I want the ones around my face to look a little bit better. Let's see. Yeah, I think holding the straightener in a downwards motion definitely helps me get the curl to start higher up in the section and gives it more of a ribbon look, which I like. Now, if I was to curl the hair towards my face, I'll show you in regular speed what the difference in the curl looks like. It just feels awkward trying to get underneath the hair and pull it through and hold it and try not to wrap the hair around the, the plates too many times or it is harder to get the hair to slide through the straightener. So it's not terrible, but I just feel like it just, it doesn't give me the curl that I want. If I want more of a looser beach wave kind of curl, um, I think that would be the better method or technique. But for what I'm looking for, which is a more ribbon-like look, um, curling either 
downwards and back or holding the straightener upwards but curling back um, is the best for me. So I'm gonna keep going and I will be back. Okay, so I am back. I finished curling the rest of my hair. So this is the final results. This is that first side that I finished. These are the curls and the other side. I will try to do a back shot. So that's what it looks. Before I do my review at the end, I do want to say, because I know somebody may come for me in the comments, in my Curly Girl Method video near the end on the rules I do not follow, but kind of do follow on using hairspray. Yes, I did use hairspray for this video, for these curls, as I do know that my hair does not hold a heated curl very well and I wanted to have a little bit of hold for this style, but every second of using this hairspray is torture for me because I really do hate hairspray. I hate the fumes in the air and the smell, even though it does have a nice, lovely smell, I just don't like the, the fumes of hairspray. So I did use hairspray for a little bit of extra hold. So my categories for this curls battle will be the look of the curls as my first category. Do I like the look? Leave a comment below with your thoughts if you do like the look of these curls on a scale of one to five. I would give it, it's still beautiful. So I would give it maybe a four and a half, four. Let's give it a, let's give it a four. Let's give it a four. I would give it a four. It is very beautiful. Um, do I prefer the curls to be more ribbon-like and big and open? Yes, so that's why it's not making its full way up to a five. In terms of ease of doing this style, with the hair straightener scale of one to five, I would give it like a three. Um, just because for me, I'm like a newbie when it comes to curling my hair with a hot tool. Um, it, it, it does take some time to get the, the hand figured out and which direction you prefer to move the straightener in, which direction you prefer to have your curls go, and if you prefer to hold the straightener upwards or downwards. I think if I was to do this again, I would hold the straightener downwards and curl back as it was just easier for me to maneuver the straightener that way and I was able to get more of a ribbon-like curl using that method. So for me, in terms of ease and fluidity, um, I would give it about a three out of five. So about a four in terms of look, even though it is beautiful, and a three in terms of ease. Okay, so I wanted to add a third category. So the first was the way the curls look, the second was level of difficulty, and the third is time. I would say this took a little over an hour and 15 minutes, and normally when I'm just straightening my hair, it just takes an hour now I've been able to get that routine down packed. Um, this took about an hour and 15 minutes. Not too bad. Um, I'm hoping a different method though can take a little bit less time because obviously we don't want to be spending too much time on our hair. Your thoughts, your opinions, do you like this style? Are you able to curl your hair yourself? Do you use a straightener? What kind of hot tool do you use? I think in round two, I am going to use a curling wand. So I know that is gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna take a different amount of time and technique for that. Um, I would also like to mention that my hands do burn using the straightener um, just because the way you have to hold it. So I probably will try to get some type of gloves or something so my fingers don't burn as I'm holding the hair and the, the plates and the barrels. But I hope you enjoyed this video and you like this look. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Comment, subscribe, hit, hit that notification bell, and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.